I have a huge story to tell you guys. I wish it was a lie. <laughs> Today was Grayson's graduation, and let me tell you about the day today. Before we get started, if you like what's on this channel, please like and subscribe. We're about to get down into real momhood. It started off amazing. Y'all, I can't believe Grayson is walking the stage. It's pretty insane. This is your last day as a kindergartner. Can you say, I'm graduating? Come on, say, I'm graduating. You'll get the juice back. I'm graduating. I know it's a hard, hard, hard two words. I'm graduating. Come on, you got it. Say it. I'm graduating. I'm graduating. Yes, I'll take it. We are at Grayson's graduation. Let's go. Everything was going well. We were bringing Magnolia. We're about to go to Grayson's graduation. I can't pick up anything or anyone because double mastectomy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Now this graduation was for all kindergartners and mind you, there were 30 of them, okay? 30. We walk in and there's like a whole bunch of seating for the children and then there's a whole bunch of seating for the adults. All I could think about was like, is Grayson gonna sit? And Joe was like, this is, kept saying like, this is gonna be a problem. This smile. I was like, no, it's gonna be fine. Like he has an aide with him. It's gonna be totally fine. An aide is with Grayson at all times because he's a runner. I have a little person that's a runner. Hi, Grayson. He's so happy. Hi, Grayson. Grayson. He's probably not gonna run to us. No, he's not. He wants to leave. He wants to go home. I mean, yeah. go somewhere else. Good morning, parents, family members, teachers, staff, and especially our students. 2022, the kindergarten promotion. I don't want to wave to him because we will begin with the flag salute, which was led by Aunt Riley. So, if you think that you have a hard child, pat yourself on the back if they can stay seated for under 30 minutes. I'm talking like 25 to 30 minutes. If they can stay seated with a group of other children, you're doing something right in this world. <laughs> like, all the kids are totally fine in their chairs. He tried to run away the entire graduation. It got so bad that they were like, can you hold him? And I can't, but I did. I, I'm, I can't lift over five pounds, but put him in my lap and I'll sit with him. I was the only parent sitting with a bunch of other five-year-olds because even the teachers were having a hard time controlling him. And at that time, I wanted to cry because I was like, every other parent is there enjoying their child graduating and I am here holding my child so he doesn't run away from me. Thank you, thank you for um... It's like, okay parents, come and take a photo of your kids as they're like walking the stage. Like, I just finished holding him. I didn't have my phone on me or anything. And Grayson and, and Joe was with Magnolia, so I didn't even get a photo. I know that the day is turning around, not just because of Starbucks, but I just got an email from the teacher and she sent me graduation photos. We couldn't take any because I was too busy holding him. Just making sure your kids showed up every day. I know. When Grayson's around a lot of people, he usually goes to every single person <laughs> and he gets in your face like this. That's what he does every single time. He likes to get, he's like a close talker. I am one that feels the energy of the universe. I started to get frustrated and I couldn't get myself out of that situation. I couldn't like feel differently. I couldn't like feel like a normal parent just for one second. And, and I don't know if any of you even understand what I'm saying, but from that moment on, the entire day has just catapulted to just 
chaos. 40 minutes late to swimming, 40. The energy that you put into a situation, it really does reflect the rest of your day because I was so distraught by this little mishap really reflected the entire rest of the day. Grayson found a ginger ale in the back and he literally thought it was like the Chicago Bulls playoffs because he shook it up and then he just opened it and it went everywhere and he thought it was the funniest thing ever and how, what do I do? I'm, <laughs> this is one of those days where you're like, I'm a horrible parent. I say that when I'm like borderline crying. <laughs> I know I'm not a bad parent. It's just everybody has these off days. Definitely one of mine. To flip the switch. <laughs> and I mean flip it. I went to Starbucks. Grayson's doing his thing in the back. I gotta go back there and buckle him back in. It's my favorite thing in the afternoons. Strawberry acai, no water, venti, and then I keep the compartments or whatever they're called and I get three scoops of matcha and it gives me amazing energy for the rest of the evening and it also tastes awesome. I'm looking for anyone that can give me any suggestions to keeping my child in their seat for 30 minutes. Like, how do they do it in class? Sometimes I feel like God looks at my life and he's like, let's make this interesting. <laughs> The moral of the story is take every day with a grain of salt and enjoy it to the fullest. At the end of the day, you made it. You're alive, you're breathing. You have a child or children. You're doing great, mom. One, three, <sighs> and if many mama can do it, so can you. I gotta put this guy in a car seat. All for now, y'all. Thanks for watching, bye.